Little House on the Prairie, an iconic TV series, captured the hearts of viewers for generations. Based on Laura Ingalls Wilder's series of children's books, it portrayed the life of the Ingalls family in the 19th century American Midwest. Tragically, several cast members have passed away over the years. Join Facts First as we pay tribute to these beloved actors, exploring their lives, careers, and the circumstances surrounding their untimely deaths. Michael Landon Michael Landon, born Eugene Maurice Orowitz, was an actor, writer, director, and producer. He's best known for his roles as Little Joe Cartwright in Bonanza and, of course, Charles Ingalls in Little House on the Prairie. As Charles Landon portrayed the patriarch of the Ingalls family, a character who became synonymous with his image. Landon was also instrumental behind the scenes. He wrote, directed, and produced many of the episodes, shaping the series' tone and direction. After Little House, Landon went on to star in Highway to Heaven, where he played an angel sent back to Earth to help people in need. He continued to write and direct episodes for the show. Sadly, he passed away July 1, 1991, due to pancreatic cancer. He was only 54. His death was met with an outpouring of grief from fans and colleagues. His portrayal of Charles Ingalls left an indelible mark on American television. His dedication to family values, both on and off the screen, continues to resonate with audiences. And his legacy as a multi-talented artist and a family man lives on. Victor French Victor French, born December 4, 1934, was an actor and director known for his roles in westerns. But it was his portrayal of Isaiah Edwards in Little House on the Prairie that endeared him to audiences. His character, a rugged but kind-hearted friend of the Ingalls family, became a fan favorite. French's collaboration with Michael Landon extended beyond the show as they worked together again on Highway to Heaven where French played Mark Gordon, a former police officer who becomes an angel's sidekick. After Little House, French continued to act in television and film. He was also a stage director and founded the Company of Angels Theater Group in Los Angeles. Sadly, Victor French's life was cut short by lung cancer. He passed away June 15, 1989, at age 54. He's remembered not only for his acting prowess, but also his charitable work, particularly with children's charities. Richard Bull Embarking on a career that spanned five decades, Richard Bull was a versatile actor. Born June 26, 1924, he's best remembered for his portrayal of Nels Olsen, the patient and kind-hearted shopkeeper on Little House. His character, often serving as the voice of reason amidst the antics of his wife Harriet, was cherished by viewers. Richard's career was not limited to Little House, as he appeared in numerous films and TV shows. His calm demeanor and acting skills made him a respected figure in the industry. After Little House, Richard Bull continued to act in TV and film, making appearances in shows like Highway to Heaven and Murder, She Wrote. He also had a role in the 2012 horror film The House of the Witch Doctor. Richard Bull passed away February 3, 2014 at age 89. His portrayal of Nels Olsen left a lasting impact and his legacy is that of a consummate professional whose work continues to inspire. Catherine McGregor Catherine McGregor, born as Dorley Dean McGregor on January 12, 1925, was an actress best known for her role as Harriet Olsen on Little House. Her character, the gossipy and often antagonistic storekeeper's wife, was essential in creating drama in Walnut Grove. McGregor's portrayal of Mrs. Olsen was so convincing, it became one of the most memorable characters of the series. Despite her on-screen persona, Catherine was known to be kind and gracious in real life. After Little House, she largely retired from screen acting but remained active in local theater. She was also involved in the Hindu-based philosophical organization SRF, Self-Realization Fellowship, and dedicated much of her time to spiritual pursuits. She passed away November 13, 2018, at age 93. Fans and co-stars remember her fondly for her significant contribution to Little House on the Prairie. Her portrayal of Harriet Olsen remains a reminder of her acting skills and her ability to create a character that, although often disliked, was indispensable to the fabric of the show. Kevin Hagen with a commanding presence and a soothing voice, Kevin Hagen brought to life Dr. Hiram Baker, 
in Little House on the Prairie. Born April 3, 1928, Hagen's portrayal of Walnut Grove's beloved doctor was marked by compassion and wisdom. Hagen's career was diverse, with roles in westerns and dramas, but it was as Dr. Baker that he found a special place in the hearts of viewers. His character's dedication to the well-being of the townsfolk made him an integral part of the series. After Little House, Hagen continued acting on television, making guest appearances in shows like The Golden Girls and Highway to Heaven. Later in life, he also pursued painting and opened an art gallery. He passed away from esophageal cancer on July 9, 2005, at age 77. Through his portrayal of Dr. Baker, Kevin Hagen's legacy is one of warmth and humanity. His character continues to symbolize the virtues of care and community, values that are at the core of Little House on the Prairie. Dabs Greer Dabs Greer, whose full name was Robert William Greer, was born April 2, 1917. He was a prolific actor with a career spanning over 60 years. He was the Reverend Robert Alden in Little House, a figure who offered spiritual solace to the town. Greer's portrayal of Reverend Alden was marked by sincerity and depth, making him a beloved figure on the show. He also had a remarkable career, appearing in over 100 films and TV shows. After Little House, Dabs Greer continued to act in both TV and film. He had notable roles in movies like Con Air and The Green Mile, and made guest appearances in TV shows like Picket Fences and ER. He passed away April 28, 2007, at age 90. His legacy is that of a versatile actor who brought authenticity to his roles. Merlin Olson Merlin Olson was a man of many talents. Born September 15, 1940, he was not only an actor, but also a former professional football player. He portrayed Jonathan Garvey, a strong yet gentle character who was a close friend of the Ingalls family. His portrayal of Jonathan was marked by a combination of physical strength and emotional sensitivity. His character was a hard-working man who deeply cared for his family and community. After Little House, Merlin Olson continued his acting career with a starring role in the TV series Father Murphy, which was also created by Michael Landon. He also became a well-known sports commentator and was involved in various charitable activities, including working with the Children's Miracle Network. He passed away from mesothelioma on March 11, 2010, at age 69. Queenie Smith With a grace that transcended the screen, Queenie Smith was a treasure of the golden age of Hollywood. Born September 8, 1898, her career spanned the silent film era to the advent of television. In Little House, she played Mrs. Sims, the schoolteacher's mother, with a warmth that endeared her to audiences. Queenie's career was rich and varied, with numerous stage, film, and TV credits. After Little House, she made a few more television appearances before retiring. She passed away August 5, 1978, at age 79. Steve Tracy Born October 3, 1952, Steve Tracy was a promising young actor with a flair for bringing characters to life. He played Percival Dalton, the husband of Nellie Olson. His character, initially depicted as a stern businessman, evolved into a loving husband and father. His chemistry with Alison Arngrim, who played Nellie, was palpable, and their on-screen relationship became one of the show's highlights. He also appeared in various television shows and movies, showcasing his range as an actor. Tragically, he passed away from complications related to AIDS on November 27, 1986, at the young age of 34. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite cast member on Little House on the Prairie? Let us know in the comments section below.